All right, so if you guys are having this problem where you're on the Mac laptop or desktop and you're trying to print to your HP printer and you're getting this error where it just keeps pausing the printer, like right here you can see that it just says the printer stopped. I'm gonna go ahead and hit print and then I'll hit resume. And as you guys can see here, it just says the printer is paused. No matter what I do, it keeps happening. If I go up here to printer and hit resume printer, you guys are gonna see it just keeps happening where it just says pause. So in this video, I'm going to show you what to do to solve this particular problem with the Mac desktop or laptop and the HP LaserJet, but it may also work with other printers as well. So definitely worth watching the entire video and trying it out to see if it fixes your printer problem. So I did a lot of troubleshooting, like removing and adding the printer and no matter what it did, it didn't work. And I'm going to actually switch over to another laptop to show you what gave me the hint as to what was wrong. All right. So if we try to print on this other Mac laptop, take a look at what we see on this one. You hit print and we'll just hit resume. And on this laptop, we see something different. We see right here where it says encryption credentials have expired. If you click on the little eye here, you'll see the same. It just says encryption credentials have expired. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to solve this problem where it says encryption credentials have expired and you try to print from your Mac to your A printer. All right, so to solve this problem, you're gonna have to connect to your LaserJet printer and generate a new self-signed certificate. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do that. So for your printer, you wanna go under settings and you wanna hit show printer web page. And if you get this warning about the connection not being private, just go to show details, go ahead and select, you can visit this website. Now, if for some reason you don't have the show printer web page showing on your printer configuration, then you would have to just type in the address of your HP LaserJet printer up here in the URL. And if you don't know the IP address of your HP printer, you can go ahead and go on the printer itself, go to settings, networking, and it will show you the IP address of your printer. So now that we're here, we're gonna wanna go down to the security section and go under certificate. And now we see here under printer certificate that we do have a certificate installed. We're gonna go ahead and view the certificate. And here we see the problem with the certificate now that the certificate expired on August 1st, 2024. It is now September 5th, 2024. So that's what is causing the problem with your Mac not being able to print to this printer because of that expired certificate. So just go ahead and click OK and we'll go back to this screen and we're gonna click Configure. And then we're gonna select the first option which is create a new self-signed certificate. Now hit Next. And we see here that this certificate is now valid from today. Now I'm gonna give you a nice bonus tip here. If you don't want to do this every year, then you can go ahead and hit edit right here. And we're gonna go ahead and change the validity period right here by typing in this number of days here, which is equivalent to 10 years. And now you won't have to worry about renewing this every year. Instead, this certificate will be good for 10 years. So by the time you have to do it again, you'll probably be getting another printer anyway. So once you type in 3650 for the number of days, which is equivalent to 10 years, you're gonna go ahead and hit apply. And now we see here the validity period is from today until 2034. So now you're all set, just hit finish. And it does say certificate update is in progress. This may take up to three minutes. Now the web page will automatically reload and you'll have to go ahead and do this again where you have to click visit this website and now it tells us that the printer certificate has been updated and we're all set. Just hit okay. 